What's up guys, Javier Mercedes here for yet again another audio tutorial within Premiere Pro. That's right, it's audio with a video program. That's how I do things. In this tutorial, I'm going to be utilizing a different technique than leveling out your audio with those little keyframe node thingies. Can you still see my face? Let's just get to this tutorial. I'm amped. Here is my reference clip. What is up, Mercedes Nation? Javier Mercedes here for yet again another Premiere Pro tutorial. And are you asking yourself why I just moved the microphone so far? In this reference clip, I have some peaks, I have some valleys. I'm moving the microphone all over the place just to give you guys a reference of how to level this out. Right here, there's a big peak. And what somebody might do is hold command uh, and hold command, make these little nodes and just drop it down so it's palpable for the listener. What is up, Mercedes Nation? Which is cool. I just think there's better ways. Right now, I have linked selection not on. I'll tell you why. With it on, what I'm going to be doing is adding an edit. And by add edit, that's really just like taking the razor tool and creating a cut like this. But Premiere calls it add edit. And that's add edit at playhead. So wherever this playhead is, there's a whole bunch of clips. I'm going to add an edit and it it does a slice down every single one. Now it'll add an edit only on the tracks that have these track numbers highlighted. I'll show you right here. If I do it again, look, it didn't add the edit because I didn't have that highlighted. I just wanted, for those that don't know what add edit is, that is what it does. For this example, what I'm gonna be doing is bringing up this audio gain window and using add edit a lot. Another um, shortcut key that I'll be using is apply audio transition. For me, what I've done is I've switched these hotkeys and I'm going to bring up my keyboard shortcuts. If you would like to know how to do that, it's just shift command K or go up to Premiere Pro and my add edit is on F and my audio gain is on G. For those that want to remain with the Premiere Pro defaults, command K will do add edit and G is the same for audio gain. I'm going to turn link selection off. If you didn't want to turn link selection off, you would just be holding option to only select the audio portion. And I'll show you why I do that here. Just be careful not to move your audio out of sync because when you go back to link selection, then you'll be out of sync with your video. And you don't want that. With that first reference that I just did, this peak right here, instead of doing these nodes, what I'm gonna do is create an edit. So right here, right before it happens, I'm gonna hit F to add an edit. I'm gonna go to the other side of the peak, hit F. Then I'm going to hit G, bring this up, and then I'm gonna do something like minus seven, adjust game by. Now I'm going to highlight both, all the clips, hit Shift Command D, and now this is almost the equivalent of what I did before. If your default audio transition is something like this long, that's because you need to set it up inside your preferences. So if you go here and timeline, audio transition default duration, it needs to be set to, I always set it to something like two frames, just because you don't get any crossover bleed and the fade over here is something that sounds nice and won't give you any pops. What is up, Mr. Still a little bit loud, so I'm gonna go minus three. But the reason I like this is because now I can listen to it and I can just click it, hit a button, hit minus two, minus three, minus five. The more you do this, the better you get at gauging oh, I think that's gonna need a, a plus two, a plus three, a plus five, whatever it needs, you'll start to understand gain staging of different audio waveforms. Let's continue. What is up, Mercedes Nation? Javier Mercedes here for yet again. So as I pull it away, I can see that the levels go right back up as I bring the microphone back up to me right here. So I'm gonna make an edit right there, and then I'm gonna make an edit right here. Highlight it, hit G, then I'm gonna do something like 10. I'm just gonna type 10. And notice the cool thing about this is now you can actually see the audio waveforms get bigger. Now I know when you're doing a audio mix, you're not supposed to mix your audio visually. You're supposed to mix it how it sounds to your ears. But you know what makes things a lot quicker is when you can see visually that, hey, you gotta turn the little waveform up. So here I've turned it up to 10. I'm going to highlight it, hit shift command D, and then let's see how it sounds. Your Mercedes here for yet again, another Premiere Pro tutorial. That versus what it was before. Have your Mercedes here for yet again, another Premiere Pro. So much better. I might even turn it up just a little bit more. So I'm gonna go plus two. Now all I had to do was hit G to enter tutorial and are you asking yourself then I might cheat just because you know whatever I like both worlds 
And are you asking yourself why I just move the microphone so far away from me and then I move it closer to me and then I move it to this side and then I move it to that side? So as I go to this side, then the rest of this I'm just going to kind of blaze through to show you how quick I can do these types of things. So I'm going to hit like five. Now I know I turned up the rest of this, but I'm just going to go with it. Side. Then I'm going to do this. I'm going to go back here to hit minus five to get bringing the levels back down. Then I move it to that side. And then I talk a little bit less. And then I'm going to the little bit less. Notice how as it's playing, I can just hit the F and just single out that little spot and just be like, oh, that was, uh, I think I need to add 3DB there. So I'm going to hit 3DB. And I talk a little bit more. So right here, let's say I forgot or I missed this cut. And then all of a sudden this is really loud. And then it goes to the softer part. The nice thing in how I have have my keyboard set up, and it'll look different for you guys if you don't have it set up this way. I go to trim. And right here is this thing called allow selection tool to choose roll and ripple items without modifier key. I have mine checked. Default, I believe, is not to have it checked. And all that means is when I scroll past a edit point, my modifier looks like this. And when I get this kind of modifier with the two red circle or the two red arrows going on, now I can just move my edit point wherever I need to to just fine tune the adjustments. If your keyboard's on default, then your cursor will look like this. That's not bad. All you have to do is hold command, and then your cursor will look like this. And then you can, while you're holding command and clicking it, you can do all the things you need to to move that cursor. The other great thing here is if you were to bring in some music, right? It's not just on audio leveling the voice. And I think this music is pretty loud, so I'm just going to turn it down like five to begin with. So I know I this hit right here happens, and I'm going to want the me talking by the time this music starts. So I'm going to hit G. I'm going to do minus like 20. So that's going to add minus 20 to the minus 5 that I already have. Boom, boom. Move this over to this spot. Look at that. It Now I can move that right into sync with the same edit point and watch this. What is up, Mercedes Nation? Javier Mercedes here for yet again another Premiere Pro tutorial. And are you asking yourself why I just move the microphone so far away from me and then I move it closer to me and then I move it to this side? So as it's going, I'm like, ah, I think that needs to be a little bit lower when the the happens. So now you can start leveling your stuff the normal way. And I move it to that side and then I talk a little bit less. Especially when that guy starts singing. Like, yeah. And then I talk a little bit more. Well, that's because I need an example for this video. And what am I going to be doing in this video? Well, I'm going to be doing audio levels. Subscribe if this was helpful and leave me a like. Live a life of abundance, y'all. Till the next video.